Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a plus b times a squared plus b squared is equal to 40 and a minus b times a squared minus b squared is equal to 16. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2 and we divide equation 1 by equation 2. So, this will become a plus b times a squared plus b squared divided by a minus b times a squared minus b squared is equal to 40 divided by 16. Next, a plus b times a squared plus b squared divided by a minus b times this a squared minus b squared will become a plus b times a minus b is equal to 8 5 times 40 and 8 2 times 16. So, this will become 5 over 2. Now, this a plus b will be cancelled out with this a plus b and we are left with a squared plus b squared divided by this a minus b times a minus b will become a minus b whole squared is equal to 5 over 2. From here we use cross multiplication, we multiply this 5 by this expression and we multiply this 2 by this expression. So, this will become 2 times a squared plus b squared is equal to 5 times a minus b whole squared. Next 2 times a squared 2 a squared and 2 times b squared will become plus 2b squared is equal to 5 times we expand this a minus b whole squared this will become a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Next 2a squared plus 2b squared is equal to we distribute this 5 5 times a squared 5a squared 5 times negative 2ab negative 10ab 5 times the plus b squared will become plus 5b squared. Now we move with these two terms to the right hand side then this will become 5a squared minus 2 a squared plus 5b squared minus 2b squared minus 10ab is equal to 0. This 5a squared minus 2a squared will become 3a squared. And we write this negative 10ab negative 10ab. This 5b squared minus 2b squared will become negative 3b squared is equal to 0. Next 3a squared this negative 10ab can be written as a negative 9ab minus ab minus 3b squared is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out 3 times a in bracket left a minus 3b and from these two terms we can factor out negative b in bracket left a minus 3b is equal to 0. Now this a minus 3b is a common factor so we factor out this a minus 3b. And in bracket left, 
in bracket left this 3a and this negative b in bracket left 3 times a minus b is equal to 0 from here either this expression a minus 3 times b is equal to 0 or this expression 3 times a minus b is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of a is equal to 3 times b and from this equation if we move this negative b to the right hand side this implies that b is equal to 3 times a now we recall equation 1 equation 1 is a plus b times a squared plus b squared is equal to 40 equation 1 is a plus b times a squared plus b squared is equal to 40 equation 1 is a plus b times a squared plus b squared is equal to 40 first in this equation we replace this a and this a with this value of a 3 times b then this will become 3 b plus b times we replace this a with 3 b this will become 3 b squared plus this b squared is equal to 40 now this 3 b plus 1 b will become 4 times b times this 3 b squared will become 9 b squared plus this b squared is equal to 40 next 4 b times 9 b squared plus 9 b squared will become 10 b squared is equal to 40 now this 4b times 10b squared will become 40b cubed is equal to 40. From here we divide both sides by 40. So this 40 will be considered with this 40 and the left hand side we are left with b cubed is equal to 40 divided by 40 is 1 and if we take a cube of both sides this implies that b is equal to 1 to find the value of a we use this equation a is equal to 3 times b we use the equation a is equal to 3 times b so when b is equal to 1 then this will become a is equal to 3 times 1 and A is equal to 3 so when D is equal to 1 then A will be 3 now we solve the second case in this case we replace uh, this B and this B with this value of B 3A so this will become A plus uh, 3 times A times a squared plus 3a squared is equal to 40 now this a plus 3a will become 4 times a times a squared plus 3a whole squared will become 9a squared is equal to 40 and 4a times this a squared plus 9a squared will become 10a squared is equal to 40 and 4a times 10a squared will become 40a cubed is equal to 40 from here we divide both sides by 40 
so this 40 will be considered with this 40 and we are left with a cubed is equal to 40 divided by 40 is 1 and if we take a cube root of both sides this implies that a is equal to 1 now to find the value of b we use this equation b is equal to 3 a we use the equation b is equal to 3 times a so when a is equal to 1 then b will be equal to 3 times 1 and b will be equal to 3 so when a is equal to 1 then b will be 3 so the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to first pair is 3 comma 1 and the second pair is 1 comma 3 this is the final answer of this problem